All right, doing another Hesse case study, this time on skin integrity, because I think this one's going to be a very important one. So, Alexander Brooks uh, is 20 years old, Caucasian, paraplegia, was on a spinal cord injury, motorcycle accident. He lives at home with his parents, who assist with his care. Alexander has attended college and has a strong social support system. This is the health clinic on campus for regularly scheduled skin assessment when the nurse absorbs a reddish area on his sacrum. Dishing to measure, addition to measuring the length of time the redness lasts, which assessment would the nurse perform? Um, maybe these three? Here's to those. So he probably lie against the finger, simple blanching. Okay. Uh, measure the diameter. It's kind of important. Uh, obtain a wound catch is not important. Okay. Sacred area has been has remained red for two hours and is not blanched and tested. So best description centers the document. Um. Excessive pallor. Ugh. Probably reactive hyperemia. Occurs if tissues. The pressure is considered abnormal when the redness lasts longer. I didn't know what hyperemia is. How's hyperemia? Let's find out. Excessive blood vessels. A bunch of blood vessels. I'm assuming surrounding organ. Okay, what? It's most important for the nurse to check. Heels and ankles. Mm hmm. Should the nurse implement? During the assessment, these high risk redness. Okay, um. Hmm. No. Notify. Oh, uh, yeah. Identify. Kind of important to know. Uh, identify the priority parents impaired skin integrity. Why do we know that? Is this man not moving much? Ooh, have they been moving him? Impaired physical mobility. There we go. Establishing a priority diagnosis, goals, and expected outcomes. Um, goal. Uh, I will remain intact. I like that one. Yes, sir. Self-care measures. To provide relief at night, the nurse teaches Alex to sleep in which position? Um, hmm. Uh, ooh. No. I want to say that. Oh, fudge. Oh, my God. Redu oh, yeah, you're right. Just guessing is not doing well. Upon learning that Alexander is a pressure-reduced gel care cushion for his wheelchair, which is nurse take. What's wrong with that one? You don't want to use no donut one. Oh. See, that's true. That's wrong. It's no. Is this one? <gasps> the nurse teaches Alexander to apply dressing over the sacral area. Uh, which type of dressing is most likely to be used? Stage one. Um, transparent or gauze? Sacral. Saying gauze. Maybe it's transparent. God. Oh. This is this is for Ashgar. There's not a lot of exudate. A complication occurs. A month later, Alexander arrives in the emergency department at the local hospital. He reports that he has the flu, has spent most of his time in bed for the last several days. He has been experiencing vomiting and diarrhea. The nurse observes that the sacred area is open, has a crater-like appearance, and is draining a large amount of thick yellow tamp flu and unpleasant odor. Oh, shoot. Small amount of eschgar is present. See, look. It's purulent. It's purulent. Sarah describes thin watery substance, so it's like clear. And this one's like bright red, because like blood. And it, what intervention is most important to reduce the effect of diarrhea? See, to reduce the, 
What does that mean? Are we trying to reduce the diarrhea or reducing the effect that the diarrhea could cause? No. Rinse, ulcerated areas. I want to say this one. Yeah, make sure that boy's clean, boy. Legal ethical issues. The nurse prepares to write positioning schedules and places in Alex's room as a reminder for the UAP assigned to help with Alexander's care. The charge must remove the schedule instead it violates Alexander's privacy. What? What you mean? Oh, it's room. Oh. Probably that one. I don't know. I don't think it violates. But that would have been fine. Apparently it was. Caring for infected wound. The wound culture indicates that Alex's wound is infected with MR MRSA. After reviewing the results of the wound culture, which type of precautions should the nurse seek? Isn't it MRSA contact? Yep. Airborne droplet, large droplets. Easy. Nurse specs develop sinus tract tun uh, tunneling. Uh, oh, we're gonna uh, the tunneling thing. You're gonna have the the cotton tip thing. Yep. Um. After assessing it, the nurse irrigates the wounds prescribed normal saline. Which irrigation technique is best? Oh shish. Pour saline under the wound from the bottom. No moisturize. I. Uh, see, I don't know. That one sounds good, but I bet it's this one. Eat. See, we didn't learn about that. Interrogation responds to wet to dry dressing. What's the purpose? Wet to dry. Shoot. Uh, we're not debriding nothing. I don't think it's in my heel. I don't know about that. Oh, I want to say healing. God darn it. Are you kidding me? Oh, what are we doing? What? Mechanically deprive the tissue. Moisten gauze is placed in the wound allowed to dry. Here's the tissue deprives the crowding effect tissues. Remove it. Alright, whatever. Facilitate tissue healing. Stop addressing and pee healing during due to tissue cooling. Okay. Decrease risk of infection. What to dry? Decrease the risk of Okay. Observe grain of the tissue. May destroy it. Okay. There's plans to administer uh, something 100 mils for 500. So he ordered 400. Mate, it's 20. Easy. Okay, uh, 400 milligrams, 100 milligrams, 5. I scheduled Mr. 20. Uh, 20 mils. Which indicates regular dosage for the. Total day doses. Daily. Mate's getting 800. Med admin. The medication and dosing the bottle labor are. But the client's name was in the bottom. Mate, can I not just go to the freaking pharmacist? Yep. When the medication label is properly labeled, the nurse makes a suspension prior to pouring it. What's wrong with that? Here's a little I don't know. I don't know, bro. I didn't learn about this. Maybe shake. Maybe give her an upside down three to five. Mate, we didn't know that. How am I supposed to know this? I didn't learn about that yet. Not even a farm. The nurse correctly uses which technique before the suspension. Oh crap. That one. Boom. Medication administration ongoing monitoring. The nurse monitors lab values and assesses for adverse effects during the course of stress. What should the nurse assess during the course of antibiotic therapy? Visual, hypothermia, rigidity, middle set. What are we assessing? Any mental state are you can any mental status change? Nope. Hypothermia is probably rigidity. Holy frick. Clients should be monitored for changes of visual function due to optic neuropathy. What? 
I didn't know that. Trash. I don't know. I'm about to look it up. Lin is easy. Well, I need lab monitoring. Uh, uh, mate, I don't know. I don't know. Where is it at? Oh. oh, you know, I don't know. Maybe potassium. <sighs> Man, I don't know anything about this, I don't think. <sighs> Mate, I don't know. We don't know, bro. Oh, how do we got that one? Hey, you said visual changes is wonderful. I remember that. And diarrhea. It's antibiotic. Get on my level. Wait, or itching? Okay. I didn't know that, bro. Mate, I don't know these. <sighs> Prior to mentioning the first antibiotic, nurse asked about any drug allergies. Nurse explains the allergy is precaution to reduce the risk of a potential problem. <sighs> uh, anaphylactic reaction. After his first dose, it rash develops, but he has no respiratory symptoms. I know this. What are we going to use for that? So think about it as psoriasis. What are we using for psoriasis? See, I, see, I want to say antihistamine. Your boy is right. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Xander has a seat and bite there several days. He has a mild blood pressure and a two by two bruise. Dang. Yeah, the nurse is concerned. Paddle toxicity. Um, request prescription for to determine if Alexander is developing f what test? Drug toxicity. Mate, I'm getting the, the, the therapeutic index. Bitch. Peak and trough. Levels will be highest. Yes, trough is lowest. I know. Damn it. I shouldn't just take. What happened, bro? Sorry. Made to do do something? Bitch. What do you do? I'm sorry. Uh you are trying to cope while I concerned it out. Makes sense to me. Concerning Alexander is developing stage 20, the nurse plans to care and size interactions with which group? Uh, girlfriend. Yeah, they know the most. He's got a girl? Yes, sir. Important to include the group in which aspect of overall care? Uh, reminiscing about life when they were younger. Bitch. Mate, no. What? Cap. The nurse, the home care nurse, teaches Alexander about dietary measures to promote wound healing and emphasize the need for extra protein. Which bag of items do I Mate, trash. No. I mean, no. Eggs. Care nurse observes that as ulcers red. I was, okay, it's healing, bro. Uh, frick. I don't know. I mean, why? It's healing. I mean, maybe that may it should be kept open to air. It's healing. Oh, it's protection. I see. And that's it. He loves it. Ooh, trash. Ooh. That was terrible. But we, we tried. We did try. I promise you that. We did try.
I'm glad I got the exit right, you know what I'm saying? See, some of these I didn't know because I didn't know the med, bro. I saw the psoriasis. I was like, oh, you can use antihistamine, inside or glucocorticoid. But you use that glucocorticoid, short term.